As families continue to grieve over the apparent loss of their loved ones, law firms are swooping in to begin legal proceedings against Malaysia Airlines and other corporations. CCTV's Ryan Meltzer joins us live from Kuala Lumpur with more on this story. Ryan? Yes, well, it was inevitable that once Malaysia concluded that the plane was lost with all lives aboard, that talk would turn to compensation and litigation. And on Wednesday, a U.S. firm, it's calling itself the largest aviation law firm in the world, was in Malaysia to talk with the families and brief the media and sign up family members, they hope. They're planning to target Boeing and Malaysia Airlines in their legal action and will be seeking damages in the hundreds of millions of dollars on behalf of the families of the passengers and crew. Less than 48 hours after Malaysia's Prime Minister announced that flight MH370 had crashed into the ocean, killing everyone on board, and the lawyers descend on Kuala Lumpur. U.S. law firm Ribic Law Chartered says it has already initiated legal action against Malaysia Airlines and the plane's manufacturer, Boeing, on behalf of one of the passenger's relatives. Based in the statements and uh, uh, preliminary conclusions of our aviation experts, which we have used in the past, that the pilot and co-pilot encounter catastrophic failure in the cockpit Either there was an ele electric fire or there was a sudden loss of cabin pressure. This is also based in the fact that it has been reported that the fleet of the Boeing 777 has structural problems with the fuselage. The lawyers point to the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration's directive to check for and correct any cracking and corrosion problems on the fuselage of Boeing 777s and accuse both Boeing and Malaysia Airlines of negligence. The lawyers say they expect at least half the passengers' families to sign up for the suit, as has happened in the previous 43 crashes that they've handled. And they say they're initiating action in Chicago because that's Boeing's headquarters and because they expect U.S. courts to act swiftly and make large awards. Those claims will be settled either directly um, or through the courts. And uh, that process can take a long time, if, depending on uh, how long it takes to gather evidence, where the, the claims are brought, which courts agree to accept the claims for consideration, and obviously then the process of litigation can take time. The lawyers say there's no need to wait for all the facts, though. In many of these crashes, we had no wreckage and we had no black boxes. And in many cases, we had black boxes that could not be read. So we cannot wait for them to find the wreckage or find the black boxes because the litigation can start without it. No time to lose in seeking justice for the families, they say, and no doubt in signing up the relatives before the competition does. Now, the lawyers say that they took the legal action initially on behalf of one of the uh, Indonesian passengers' relatives. They've already been speaking to the relatives of passengers here in Malaysia. And right after the press briefing, the lead lawyer rushed out of the room, headed to the airport to fly off to Beijing. Ryan, obviously litigation, uh, everyone kind of thought at some point this would come up. What's this likely to do to Malaysia Airlines? Well, surprisingly little, it seems, from the, uh, the analyst that I spoke to said that it's the insurers that are going to bear the burden of this, that Malaysia Airlines will be fully insured. That risk is spread out among numerous insurers. There will be some hit to its insurance premiums, but the insurance premiums for passenger airlines are extraordinarily low. They carry some 3 billion passengers a year and pay only $2 billion in insurance premiums, so less than $1 per passenger. So from that aspect, Malaysia Airlines will remain unscathed. However, it is seeing a hit to the number of bookings it's getting, particularly from China, and it's likely to have suspended all advertising and all promotions during this crisis, as is the industry norm. And Malaysia as well has had to suspend its Visit Malaysia 2014 campaign. So there will be a hit on the financial front, and Malaysia Airlines is already struggling financially, having lost $360 million last year. But the actual compensation claims, it's going to be in the insurers and not the airlines that are going to bear the brunt of that, in all fact, right. bear all of it. Ryan Melcher, live force in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you.